Got no no camera, Mum. No camera. No, I can't see your camera. Has that done anything? No, touch the thing that says stop video or start video. Now your camera's oh, no. a bit there you are. Is that a bit skew with? Is that better? That's better. Much better. Good. Good. Okay. Right. Perfect. Now we're just waiting on Nigel baby. Oh, I hope they've remembered. Oh I oh no. Did I ring them? Well, I hope they haven't gone out. <laughs> Hello, did you remember about the... Okay, right on then, see you in a minute. Yeah, bye, bye. Had they forgotten? No, no, it, it had just pinged just as... Oh, uh, okay. They were talking, so the email just came through. So that's good, isn't it? That's good, that's a relief. Yeah, so are you all right? Yes, I'm well, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yes. Have you, um, it was good about Lady Gaga's dogs, wasn't it? Huge news. There's finally something to look forward to. It's a positive bit, isn't it? It's some good news in a world of darkness, although the dog walker was shot. And I think maybe the people who took it were, maybe other people were killed. But yeah, all that matters is that she has her two French bulldogs. I can't think of a more important story right now. No, no, I agree with you. I think, it, I think you know, all this. Oh, here he is. Um, is he coming? Good evening. Good. Oh, you've got the bow tie on. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Saturday you. night, boy. Saturday night. <laughs> and what are you doing that's very eventful? Are you doing anything on oh, this? I'm, I'm meeting you and Pam. That's what's eventful for me. <laughs> this is pandemic, pandemic time. Ah, uh, you look like heaven's bartender, Uncle Nigel. Honestly, you really do Nigel. Good how, uh, how are things, Uncle Nige? What's What's been going on? What's new? Oh, well, we've had a beautiful day today. Absolutely sunny. Yeah, about what, 11, 12 degrees, something like that. Okay. And I did go for a bit of a walk, uh, take the dog. Okay. Good, good day, yeah. Lovely. And who's that baby picture of behind your right shoulder? Uh, that, is, that is young Hayden. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Um, and then have you been digesting a lot of CNN? I know that you, you are. Are you CNN's biggest UK fan, do you think? No, no, I, I've been watching a bit of it. There seems to be, you know, it's all about getting this stuff through uh, through Congress and through the Senate. And How many the, CNN anchors do you think you could name off the top of your head? Oh, I don't know. Uh, the, well, the, the favourite was John Berman and Alison Comarota. And then, <laughs> then there's that guy, Ro Rosemary Church. Uh, and then there's a couple come on after Rosemary Church, an early start. Uh, and then there's the Julia, whatever her name, she's English, she does, uh, she does the, um, she does the, um, you know, the investment and shares and everything like that. Uh -huh. uh, and then, of course, we got uh, Armin Poor is on here at seven o'clock at night. Yeah, sure. sometimes there's some nice conversations in that. What about a and little, then, okay. And then we have, uh, what's his name? The guy that does, uh, um, oh, the lead by Jake Tapper and then Wolf Blitzer. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm very. And then what about in the evening? You know what we get in the evening here? We get what do we get? Well, we, we in the evening, it's not something I, I watch. I usually I usually switch back on to see something about Jake Tapper a bit between nine and ten. And then Wolf comes on. Well, quite like that. I'd, mm -hmm. it's much better to have Wolf Blitzer on at night like you have there, because it is yeah. such a night. It feels like he should only do news during the full moon. <laughs> That's well, we I had think. a snow moon yesterday, I think. We called it here. A snow oh, moon. Good. And, Mum, how are you doing? Well, no, and I was just going to say, and then I think you like uh, Chris Cuomo, don't you, Nigel? And Yes, but he's on too late, Pam. I used to do it when if I stayed up to 2, 3 in the morning, and you sometimes saw that. Sure. Because although it's, it's, it's quite late evening over there, it's getting into the early hours of the morning here. Yeah, that's so a late time. He's you know, quite good. Yeah. You yeah, know, guy, that guy, Lemon, as well. When I when I was in high school and I had trouble sleeping, I used to watch Anderson Cooper do the news on on Channel Twelve. Oh, he had like the three a.m. to five a.m. shift. Yeah, and I used to watch him and love him. But well, um, well, yeah, he seems to be quite good. He he uh, can organize some of the conversations, doesn't he? Cheers, some of these things. He does, although they're all a bunch of uh, millionaires. But what I thought <laughs> we could talk about today is, um, I thought we could maybe focus. Uh, on you today, Nigel, just reminisce about a couple of 
stories okay, from me. times past. Yeah. You're focusing on me for ages. The no, no, but I think well, let's even tilt the spotlight a little further your way. Mom, you'll remember some of these, but let, yeah. I just have a few uh, memories I thought we could go through. The first right. is, Nigel, how many times in your life have you eaten at McDonald's? Well, I've been more recently because I had to take the grandkids. Oh, you've gone. But, but I'll, I'll usually take a wrap, but I hadn't gone very often until we went in France, if that's what you're going to tell me. Well, what I was <laughs> going to talk about was I remember a time when you hadn't gone. You'd only gone to McDonald's once and you got had gotten food poisoning. Yes. And then when we were in France, we went to McDonald's and you got food there. Finally, got back on the horse. And yeah. what happened? Well, I think it was just before we returned, you were there, we were there with the family, and I was absolutely awful the next day, but I managed to drive to the ferry, drive home, I just left the car, everything in it, went to bed, and that was in me bed for about a week, severe, severe food poisoning, I just got, the, I just got you all back and went straight to bed. Severe food poisoning, and if my favourite memory is that you uh, broke the toilet seat because of the frequency at which you were using it. Well, I don't remember that, but I have got a big behind. The toilet seat was stripped off of the throne completely. You had McDonald's, had food poisoned you seatless. So it was just now <laughs> just the bear. You know, when you go in the, the night or like when you'll like w women have this when like when you go to the night and someone's left the seat up and you, you yes. sit down. And you go, oh, God, it was just that part was left. <laughs> And it seems so much further you've fallen onto the coast. No, you seat. fall in like a Laurel and Hardy, like, it, it feels like when like a cowboy's ass would be on fire and he'd stick it in like a little, a little big thing of water to go. That's the sensation when you sit down on it. But that's what we were left with. Um, well, speaking of, speaking of the bathroom, we already talked about this a little bit, but we, we would recycle bath water. Uh, oh, yeah, well. All day. <laughs> yeah. And you and it would it the the it would cert, by the end of the day after four people had it would sort of take on the consistency of mashed potatoes almost. Well, yes, yeah, yeah they needed to be stirred. <laughs> like it would like if mashed like mashed potatoes that we hadn't stirred in yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is true. I, I think it started when we all used to do some runs and that over the field, which is a great time to be sharing bathwater. I was so sweaty. Bathwater is something I would rather. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, uh, it's only two baths now, you know. And but, um, you would you only use two. There's two you, people in the bath now. You would use the two, Mum. Well, I think I would. Yes, I would. Even if I you'd be staying at your mum's house, you would still go, oh, I'll just get in the human koozie. Well, yeah. <laughs> Nick used to call it the all day bath at Nigel. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he yeah. did. Yeah, instead of the all day breakfast, it was the, he said you could go up and you could sit on the toilet and you'd think, hmm. May as well just jump in that water. <laughs> and oh. it was cold. Oh, it's cold, and you'd come out and you'd no, no, but you can, you can usually let some out and then, you know, refill it with a bit of hot. Yeah, you know? but still, a top off is, it's not time for just, it's not like repairing a cocktail. It's like this is, yeah, you'd man. come out and you'd almost have like a Sasquatch quality because you'd be covered in so many just hairs from other humans. You'd come out and be like, <laughs> ah, you know. <laughs> Anyway, that was a fun one. No, no really when we were doing the running, if you remember, we had to put our legs up into the uh, into the hand basin to wash all the muck off before we get in. We didn't want yeah. to leave it too dirty. Which is actually, which is actually like uh, in Japan, like they will, they, they have like public baths and stuff, but that's what you do. You wash yourself in a completely different area and then you come over there. Yeah. Well, I was also asked on these to say Jesus Christ less. So I just want to point that out. Oh, okay. Well, you yes. can say it as much as you want, Nigel. Go ahead, Mom. I was going to say you had to wash off to get in the bath so that you didn't spoil the water. That's good. That's right. That's right. You didn't want last thing you'd want to make that murky water dirty. I think um, I don't mind as well was it was always very it was scummy. Yes, yeah, so it was disgusting. It was this, it was like a soup. It was literally yes. a soup. Um, yes. I also remember we would play Trivial Pursuit a lot at the holidays. And Nigel, you were really good at Trivial Pursuit, but they was would that, get heated. Was that? Oh, God. Well, I tell you, the old brain's addled now because I can't even remember it. I have to get those quizzes where they give you three, three answers and I can usually pick the right one. But trying to get it like out, the out of here now. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, there was, 
Well, there were a lot of times where uh, there were arguments. Yeah. Do you remember any of those, Mum? Old guys rule. Okay. I, rem I remember Angie and Nigel. We all decided it was absolutely fatal because they'd be on opposing teams. Yes. And then somebody we would leave angry. Yes. Yes. Somebody would storm out. Always. Were... There was somebody at the end. And it would be amazing watching people fight over pie. Going like, you know, you haven't earned your blue pie. You know, like that level of seriousness. <laughs> Saying pie is just always kind of funny. Oh, yeah. You um, see it to some people who just want to eat it. Yeah, yeah that's right. And, yeah. There, and there was always quite a lot of wine involved. Oh, yeah. It was a bo oh, boozy arguments. Boozy arguments. Yeah, yeah well. Yeah. Those um, were the stupid days when we were young. Angie and I used to have a, a New Year, a wine drinking contest. I think we got up to about what, four, four or five liters of red, something like that, to win the competition, something, oh, like that. something, wow. something phenomenally stupid. That's nice. So what? What? Do you, why do you? Why do you think that's stupid? You don't agree with the competitive drinking? Well, I think, I think you learn after. You probably do your kidneys and liver no good at all. Your kidneys probably. True. Yeah. But you got two of each. That's the good news. Um. Now, Nigel. Also, let's talk about uh, animals. Animals. Oh, animals. Animals yeah. pass away sometimes. What, what, yes, what do you do if, an, if an animal, if you, God forbid, I mean, we all go through this and you lose pets for various reasons. If you lose a pet, what's the process? The process, well, it depends what time of the year is it because Shale, which, uh, who, who, uh, Shale, you know, which the, was your black lab. No, Shale, <laughs> Shale was uh, for the orange colored bloody uh, cat that somebody gave Fiona oh, right. Sorry. years right. and years ago. Right, right. You know, the one the that you would be sitting stroking and all of a sudden, for no apparent reason, it launches both its front claws and its mouth at you at the same time. Yeah! They get overstimulated. It wasn't overstimulated. It was just a bad bee. That was all it was. A nasty bit of work. I think we've got we've got one of our grandchildren, uh, Reggie, who's now saying, what about that vicious cat you had? And, and of course... Hilly's been looking at the pictures, so we happen to have quite a few pictures handy of this vicious cat. So Shale, um, Shale eventually, Shale, who named Shale? Shale? Only in England would a cat be named Shale. Fiona named Shale because Shale. that was the colour. It was that sort of reddy colour, which apparently, uh, you know. And then Shale expired. Yeah, after about 21 years. It left it, it was about 21. Okay, 21, first, passed, passed away. No, so, sorry? It passed away, and, and then what happened? Yes, well, what happened? It passed away. It was, it was, it was right in a, a serious time of winter, I think January, February time. And I think it was absolutely freezing for about three weeks. So we couldn't get in because we usually dig it in the back lawn, dig a home, and so, bury them. I mean, if somebody so you're, comes you're, to you're, you're into backyard burials of your animals. Well, yeah, because at the end of the day, yes, I, I, I'm fearful when, when and if we leave this house, somebody will dig up these bones and think we'll be mass murderers, I think. Right. But anyway, shale, it was too hard to ground, so I put it in the shed at the bottom of the garden. Christ, it was a bit... Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say that. That's By okay. heavens! It was about five or six weeks we remember that, and she was frozen solid. Absolutely. So, so, so you took your cat to the shed to have its winter rest until, well, well, it was, until, until the, the ground, ground, until the ground softened, end. right? And then the ground softened, and then and then you took Shale out of the shed and you buried yeah. her in your yard. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, as I say, that's not the only one. I don't know. There must be what four or five cats in there, um, three or four dogs, a couple of what do you call those things for? Those things from South America, they think guinea pigs, guinea pigs all sorts of stuff, rabbits, really, everything's here. You really you better, remember you where better, you better is. hope there's never, I mean, you really do better hope that nobody ever comes thinking you guys correct, have done something correct, nefarious. Correct, otherwise, correct, absolutely. I told you, you had the same problem with um Tilly, didn't you? That it was cold and you had to keep her in the garage in a blanket. Oh, yes, I think that's right, Pam. So, yeah, it just shows you how my memory's like, going. If, what if someone walked into your garage? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what if someone was like, hey, can I borrow the hammer? And they you're like, walk oh. in there, Gareth, it was so full of rubbish. Nobody could walk in there. Right? But yeah, that's dog in there. That's like what, like, that's like, you know what I mean? Like, if someone came over to borrow something, they'd be like, hey, you have a dog, there's a dead dog there. And you'd go, oh, no, we're waiting until spring. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah As I okay. see, uh, it's too muddy for Tilly. 
Oh, that, oh, yes. The other thing, it wasn't too frozen for Tilly. It was just like too muddy. You couldn't even stand it. You tried to dig it and you would fall flat in your face or flat in your back if you were trying to dig it. We've had some real oh, terrible stuff. Have you, ever, have you ever been trying to bury an animal in your yard and then found you've hit, you're like, we've already buried one here? Uh, well, I think we're getting close to that because uh, right. I think we've, we've taken almost every corner, every spot. Right, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm wondering what happens when when this little dog dies, but I'll precede it. I'm sure it's only six months old. And now, when you pass, are you going to be buried in your garden? Well, we could apply for that. I, th I think I think we'll have think to get myself nice. burned. I'll maybe I'll maybe I'll, I'll get them to burn me in the barbecue and then take my ashes up to Scotland. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Either way, I'd love to be a part of any of it. Um, and uh, and mum, you remember this? The the bum bag. Now uh, here it's called a fanny pack. It is yes. a uh, a thing you wear around your waist, and we had fanny packs, and you had a bum bag, and you called it your bum bag, and Correct. you loved your bum bag. Yes, I, you had to get it the right size because it was nice to have it close to you if you went overseas because you could keep your passports as well as your money in it. So right. it was always close to you, you know. Now, would you ever wear like a man bag? I've got a man bag now. Oh, so because you have I, graduated. I need two kinds of glasses. Uh, you know, and this phone I now have to take with me. I never believed in phones before. Hand sanitizer. Christ, what, oh, sorry. Language, mask. Nigel. <laughs> mask. Oh, yeah, I have to take masks with yeah. you as well. Plus the carcass of some animal you're wearing. I, I, if I, I, could get, I could get my ally and, and, and life companion maybe to seek out my bag and I can show you. Oh, that'd be great. That'd yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'd love to get eyes so, on the Whatever it says in here about old guys, well, that's not the truth. Women rule the world. Do they rule the world? I think we should give it a well, shot. I, 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 th I, think, I think men, they like to have men pretend that they do it. But some of them take it too far, like idiots that like you had over there. Uh, that's the greatest uh, president of all time you're talking about. What do yes, you think? Yes, he absolutely about? is. In hell. There you go. Oh, look at that. That's your man bag. Oh, I thought I was going to get That's to it. see the bum bag. In the front, where the old mask go. Yeah, the mask go in the front. Yeah. yeah. And well, as I say, it gets quite full at times. No, and it's not the of life. But Nigel, you when you first started out, and you'll remember this, Garfi, Nigel had an orange nylon one. Do you remember? I did at one point. An I've orange. Had a few, I think you've got me a few nice ones, Pam, over the years. I think well, I think I got you a couple of leather ones, but you loved that orange nylon one. And Garfi didn't haven't you got a story about Nigel and his orange one in the bedroom with Ross? I don't know. I just know that anytime you yeah. ask Nigel for anything, he would tell you it was, bum, it was his catchphrase. Have but, a look in my bum bag. But didn't <laughs> he try to get didn't he try to get you and Ross up one morning? Oh, and he did that he, naked without a bum bag. Yeah. Oh, I thought he did it. No, with I think we talked about that, how Nigel would rouse us fully nude. He would just be out of the salty haired bathtub and he'd just go, boys, oi, wake up. We're going for a walk up, Clint. And Russ and I would just be like, why is this penis here? Why did this have to be delivered? How is this so <laughs> like that's how you deliver earthquake news? Not, hey, we're going to go on a walk. <laughs> Where are you going? I got to alert the boys to a walk. Do you want to put some pants on? It's too important. I got to find out if they're in or out. I don't have the 30 seconds to put underpants on. And Garfi, what about one night when you and Ross came in and Nigel used that Scottish word? Well, we came in and we'd been drinking and we'd been drinking in a field. I remember I fell asleep in the field. And so we were nicely intoxicated. And we came back and you stoically were just sitting on the couch. You wouldn't even look at us right away, but then you looked at us and, you, and we were like trying to just get through the hello to you. Whole walk back, we're going, how the hell are we gonna say hi to Nigel? We're too drunk. And then so we get in and we're like, all right, hey, Nigel, how you doing? You go, are you foo? And we just were like, what did he just say? And you're like, are you foo? And we were <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> we're like, what are you, are you foo? And we go, I don't, we don't know what is happening right now. We're nervous. We're drunk. We're worried. You go, you yeah, boys are bloody foo. And then it was just the term that he just used. Food. It's a Scottish term for being stocious. Yeah. What do you have in your mind? Stocious. Stocious. It's even stocious is great. All right. Well, let's do one more. I have a number of them here, but um, we can either do grandpa with the rattle on his head or um, we can talk about what's the pasta one? Oh, I do want to, Nigel, 
you had a favorite dish you would make. <laughs> Did I? Yes. You, I heard about this. I heard about this preceded me seeing you one year that uh -huh. someone was telling me that you had started to make your own sort of vegetable pasta. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well that's a lot. I mean, I had a few, a few favorites before that, having a huge curry or a huge risotto, chicken risotto, chicken curry all to myself. Yeah, but... And then but when, 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 you're, when your auntie came on the scene, I had, I had to say, oh, God, I can only have half of that. And then that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but then you started making... A pasta, yeah. famous pasta, a family, family, famous. I don't know, pasta. It's, I don't know it's famous. All they used to do it was is famous. Up all the vegetables, put them in. Now, no, 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 what these vegetables? Walk us through what they are <laughs> and where where are you getting them? Are you getting them from a field? I, no, no, I get them legitimately. And what? what how? What would what would they be in? How would well, they be I, I, we we've got uh, 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 just walking up the road to the where you maybe went to one of the cans. Uh, the answer shops. is cans. Cans. Uh, and you and, and the green grocers up there is called Mr. Brown's Greens. Uh huh. And so we we we, we try and use it, especially in the COVID times. We try and use the local shops. So it's often we would just get something like carrots, onions. Oh, what else might we get? But this is tins. Yeah, whatever's available, tins. we just getting, throw it in. But you're getting tins of these. No, no, no. Fresh vegetables. Chop them up. I'd seen a lot of tin vegetables when I saw you make it. Oh, no, it's not so much tin vegetables. What we would have to do, you, if you were making it and making it more vegetarian, you might get tins of uh, various beans or, or chickpeas or something like that. So that you're, putting, the, you're putting beans, chickpeas, what else is going in this? Oh, yeah, well, you would, you would normally have uh, chopped tomatoes. You would maybe, maybe have fresh tomatoes. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yes, and sometimes the main course or the, the sort of, um, I don't know, the main sustenance might be tuna or something like that. So tuna, beans, spaghetti, yeah. and then what sort of sauce yes. would you put It's in a it? huge mixture. Yeah, would you, absolutely. Would you, would you put soy sauce in it? Yeah, soy sauce, yeah. 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 yeah just so just sauce. tuna, soy sauce, yeah. Okay. I might even put in some Worcestershire sauce if we had some. Sure, yeah, why not? Let's see how bad the heartburn can get in this party. <laughs> Do you remember that, Mum? Yes, I do. Did you put a tin of corn in too? Did you put? Oh, corn? sometimes you put some corn in. Yes. <laughs> do you understand why this sounds great? This sounds like, a, like what a what a guy. You, you, you mentioned a, the toilet earlier. This was to ease your passage. <laughs> <laughs> and after passage to the yard for burial. Um, <laughs> have we got any pictures? That's the end of my part. Well, I've got a fabulous one here. Absolutely. This could be the start of the show. Look at this. Oh, oh look at that, Mom. Uh, now, Mom, why does that make you why does that make you home alone? <laughs> I don't know. It's just well, it's fabulous, isn't it? Fabulous. Look at, look at Nigel. <laughs> what do you think, God? Oh, that's fabulous, isn't it? It's fabulous. That hair looks like a wig. I it looks know. like a wig, my hair. Look but at what that. it looks like is if you're the Queen of France or something. Yeah, yeah you do look like a princess. <laughs> the Queen of France. That's what yeah, I mean. You could, yeah. you could put a crown on that, couldn't you? A little you? tiara. Mm -hmm. Now, where do you yeah. know where that was taken, Mum? Yes, that was taken with Barry Webster, um, who likes to take pictures. Oh, the you pervy know, guy? Ended pictures. <laughs> the guy who, when after you were done with your session, his wife asked if he'd asked you to take any in your underpants? Yes, yes, yeah, okay. yeah. And Hillary came along too. She's wow. there. Ask. You had to have a chaperone. Mine are horrid. My pictures. But you yeah. came. What's he asked you, He picture. asked you to come, didn't he? Yeah. All right. Let's have another picture then, Mum. You have any? Uh, well, I, I've got a few, but I thought it would All be right, good for. Go now. ahead, Nigel. Let's see. Well, this is one that you were talking about animals earlier. That's one of the ones that's buried in there. Oh, God, Jesus. That's a white cat. That's, that's one of the best cats we ever had. He was lovely. What a meal uh, cat. How, no was the, how was the yard service? Yeah, well, but, but the, the, he used to follow us. When we, we did the, the last, e uh, the, you know, the late evening dog walk, he used to follow about 40, 50 yards behind us and follow us and walk around with us. Oh, wow. Wow. He was did you ask cat. him to join you on the walk naked? Uh, well, he was already naked. I didn't see it in and on, you know. Even True. in the coldest weather, he was quite uh, unclothed. <laughs> Birthday suit. True. True. All right, let's have another one. We could do a few, and then we got to call it. Uh, should I do one of you? Yeah, go on. to do yeah, one of sure. you. Sure. 
Yeah, that's one of my ah, that's when I put my hand in the dog's ass. But then there's <laughs> that's you and Snoopy. Hi, ah, Snoopy. I Life remember Snoopy. Yeah. yeah, look at yeah. that. Yeah. I yeah. remember Snoopy. Yeah. <laughs> now, Hillary's insisting that I show her some of those mo models of her. This was at the same time as your mum. Oh, okay. They're horrible, she says. Yeah, horrid, she says. Here's the other one. Horrid, she says. Hillary, did he ask you to take any pictures in your underpants? No, he didn't ask me to take any pictures in my underpants, but I think I think they weren't like your mum. They they they're not as good as your mum's photos. But he never asked me. He never did. No, he ask never me asked. No, he never asked. Her. The wife, the wife thought he 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 might have done. The and wife doubted him for having a hobby of asking that. Yes. Now, let's yes. just do two more with you in your underwear, huh? Yeah, yeah. Is that cool? Just at the end of it, we've got some really nice princess ones. She thought you fancy. He fancied you. Oh yes, she did. Here, here's, a, here's another one to add to the mix. Your mum's in the middle somewhere here. Oh yeah. Is that you on the left there, Nigel? You are the ultimate party starter. Look at you over there on the yeah. cliff, Nigel. And there's Tricia there as well. Yeah, but oh, look yes. at you. Bringing yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. Bringing it. I don't know about that. What do you guys think? I've just got one here that I thought anybody that's, I don't know how far this reaches or how many, where your fans are, but that was that where we moved, when we first moved to America and we went into a house, that's what we live there. In oh, Cleveland. in that, in that uh, a vacant lot. Yeah, we lived in that, no, that dirt was, lot for. No, that, oh. was Gra sorry, that was Grafton. That was our oh. second place to live. Oh, okay. Grafton. In Wisconsin, that was. Gorgeous. <laughs> now, yeah. Mom, you saw this picture and you thought, this is a good one. Which one? The one you just showed of a dirt lot. I did. I thought it was really. I thought that was really exciting. Dynamic. I've got just one more exciting one, and then I won't right. do any more. Little egg. Okay, mum, you're you're going to be cut off from showing pictures for today. Now that your last oh, one was sure. just an egg show. Yeah, here's that beauty again. Look at that. Look at there's the beauty. There you again. are, mum. Look at that. <laughs> Is that the same yeah. one? Same session? No, no, I think it's a different show. But he had you stripped off a bit at the top. Oh, he had, oh All yeah. right, let's not. Yeah. Let's, where, Mom, you look kind of like you're in your underwear. Yes, I think, yes. I think it was, oh. uh, it was heading that way, wasn't it? Yeah, right, yeah. That's what he, that's what he does. Exposes the shoulders, yeah. then the knees, then the, the, all bets are off. He was yeah, lower, lower. Anyway, he, he's, he's a scary cut here. Oh, that's shale. Yeah. That's scary cut. That's shale. Little yeah, did she yeah. know she wouldn't be leaving that yard. Yes, that's where she fight. That was a, a, her a final, final resting place. place. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Very much so. All I right, you know. got one or two more, Nigel? If not, we can call. Well, well no you, you, your auntie got them out. No, oh, she didn't give it to me. She said, give it to me. Wait, don't minute, you get minute. irritated. Don't be a diva, Nigel. She's helping. No, no, no. She's giving me. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, look at that. That's great. Yeah, look that's at That's Christmas. You. That, now, did you do you enjoy Christmas Day, Nigel? Well, yeah, it's, uh, yes, it was okay. Yeah, the only thing was Christmas and New Year. You had to face after that going back to a hell of a lot of work. It was a terrible. You enjoyed it at the time. You thought, oh, Christ, what did, you, oh, did you? In, but did you enjoy Christmas Day? Yeah, quite often I enjoyed okay. it. Yes, all right, good. I enjoyed it with all your company because it's nice to have all the family around you, which we haven't been able to do for no, a couple of years now, have we? No. And I'm I think this, was the time, this is the time I was digging out. For, uh, oh, look at that. An animal must have died. No, no. <laughs> that was, I was building the first was, bit of yeah, extension. What, was that, you have a rhino pass away? Uh, no, I, <laughs> could it be? It could be in there. It's in amongst the footings, isn't uh, it? Uh, yeah, yeah. You're moving shale's bones to get the giraffe neck properly laid out. <laughs> well, no, that shows you at one point I was quite prepared to work hard laboring. Yes, you were. Here, here's here's more animals. Here's more animals coming. Uh, more well, animals. There's two animals in one daughter. Are those buried in your yard? Yes, both of them. Both of those animals. Both of those. Not Gemma, the two no, black no, lambs. Gemma, I know, I know, but both of them. Gemma isn't are. buried in the garden. Oh, uh, no. Wow. Yeah. So, really. Are there any animals you've had that you've not buried in the yard? Yeah, the only one that we had that we haven't buried is the one that's alive at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did what did you say? Oh, I've I've had Mishy, which was of course we we had to look after her for years. But when she died, Fiona claimed her and buried her in her garden. Oh, so it's genetic. <laughs> she claimed her in death. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. She's like an. We had to look after her in life. 
Yeah, and then the final resting place is her. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I thought that was a bit sick, really, wasn't it, really? <laughs> you know it's sick if you find it sick. <laughs> you know, how long until we're looking for an animal and we find it in your bum bag? Oh, well, yes, this, this is a possibility because I think we're going slower. We're getting older, so we have to get, we have to get slower and lower and, 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 and tinier. Yeah, I don't know quite what, how 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 slow uh, how low we'd have to go. Here's another one I think was in France. Hillary showed me. It shows me in a very undignified pose. Fat got Hayden to call me. FG FG. Oh, hell Fat yeah! Look Hayden. at that. All yeah. right, yeah. Got yeah. International. That was outside an old chateau in France. Yes. Yeah, in Brittany. Oh, hold that up a little longer. Let me get another slice of that eye cake. Look at that. That is, that, that, that's, that's, that, when we say UK traveler abroad, that's what we picture. See-through <laughs> legs. Your legs are transparent. I know, I'm very white too, but those legs are, I mean. Whoa, yeah. Those are white. She's actually, she's actually put loads out of it. What do you mean it's selected these? Is well, good let's, lady. Well, let's see a couple more of you. That's, that's. Ah, uh, look at that. When you turn 60. Uh-huh. They have to that's put the hard, number on you because you forget it. That's her for Dersha. That was the family home for years, and that's my half sister, half sister Betty, standing oh. behind me. Oh wow! Look at that. I thought yeah. that's how much they were selling you for. Oh yeah, that could well be. That was all it was worth sixty shillings. <laughs> I would say sixty yeah. quid. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, look at you there. Who's the guy holding the balloon? Yeah, that he was his retirement. That's Scott Latimer, and that's his wife in the middle. I've been friends with them since 1966. That that name tag is right right in the middle of that chest. It's like a Superman S. Oh, that was in the office uh, down at Mary Hill Tax Office. As it was then Mary Did Hill. you did you enjoy? Uh, were you happy to retire? Were you very happy when you retired? Oh yes, happy at the end because they uh, they made life hell for people, not just me, for everyone. Right. And and, and as I say, life in the revenue was happy. People were working hard. And then we had idiots that thought they knew better about management. And I'm afraid the management ideas at the moment stink. What, they there or in idea. general? I think in general, yes, because yeah. they're trying to squeeze it. They think by squeezing people and making life unhappy for them. Uh, they, they, if you've got a happy workforce, I would take a happy workforce, more effective, more efficient, more productive. Keep your workforce happy, treat them fairly and honorably, and you'll get more work done. Sound Simple. like a real man of the people, a.k.a. a real Chris Cuomo. Uh, no, do you no, have, I, uh, I don't know if it's Chris Cuomo, but anyway, at one point, the, no, the, the, the revenue centers and management courses, and those were wonderful courses, but nowadays people don't think, they think management's easy, you can just do it. Yeah. But if you don't care for people, if you, if you don't have compassion for people, if you don't want to look after people, you'll not be a good manager. Very true. Very true, Nigel. Give me one more picture of you. Maybe two. Oh. Well, yeah, there's a couple of people in here that you might know. Let's see. Oh, look at... Oh, Nan, I know. I don't know who that is in the middle there. That, that's my older cousin. She's 86, oh. 87. You look now. like you've just finished off a pot of your uh, spaghetti corn. Yeah, I, I think I think I feel a pasta. Yeah, you look, you look like you, you, got that, you got that satisfied tuna soy sauce pasta. It could well be I'm killing myself laughing, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> well, don't do it too much. You'll be in the garden. Ah, now you recognize this one, Gareth. There's a lot of, a lot of people in here, including you uh, truly yourself there. Oh, yeah, I'm in there. There you are in the orange. There I am in the Packers hat. There you are, Mom. There's Nick. Yep. That's when we, that's probably, now that probably, that's after you asked me nakedly to take this walk. This is when we took it. Correct. I think that was it. That was the Clint walk. We were up at the coffee in Clint. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, boys. We're going to go have a coffee. We'll put clothes that's on. Obviously, that's obviously Christmas time because there's no leaves in the trees. That's right. All right. One more, Nigel. Well, one, one more. more of you. Oh, well, one more. I think this relates to a time that you were, you were around, but not quite in this picture, if you recognize it. Oh, yes. Zoom in on you there, Nigel. Will you push that in? Look at that. The bow tie again. When did you that start going That was wedding, and that was in Italy. That, yes. was, that was the restaurant we went to for the seven-course meal, and Uncle Dave and I were, were absolutely foo. <laughs> Not drunk-wise, <laughs> but with food. After the third course, we couldn't get any more into it. So we wait, told us there were seven courses. So what, is, what does foo mean? Does foo mean drunk or foo? Foo means absolutely drunk. 
But okay. foo normally means full, but in a Scottish context, if you say somebody's foo, you'd mean they're foo a drink. Okay, foo a drink. And stocious. Right, all right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, it's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for joining us, Nigel. Mum, any stand updates or any uh, premieres or anything you want to promote? I haven't heard that anybody particularly wants me to do stand up or anything, but I'll keep you posted. Now, Nigel. I may have stand up. Well, I've got—I don't know about stand up, but I've got—I got a short leg in Monday. I'm getting an ultrasound in my left leg. Oh, so you'll be a lay down. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. As I say, I could be standing up, but uh, as I say, I, I probably could work uh, work with you on stand up. And I see a dog behind you. Ooh, That's right. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably cut this. Give our best to the dog owner as well. I will, but hands off. This one, uh, this one's not going in the garden. Okay. <laughs> but only if you bring it across. I see you salivating. <laughs> you got that, very you got, I usually see a little service for them, you know. I'm very <laughs> sad to see them go. Yeah, of course. Do you? What do you say? Well, just basically as if it's a human being, you know. Right. You take okay. care of this lovely animal. It gave us a great deal of pleasure for many years. And most of them did do that, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Except Fair for Sheila, we just said, oh, thank God, she's gone. No more bites and scratches. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All my love to both of you. Oh, Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye then.